Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and today we're here at Nissan of Garden City checking out the 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4x4. This is Nissan's answer to the Toyota Tacoma or the Chevy Colorado or the Canyon and the Ford Ranger. This is a Nissan's mid-size pickup truck and to the right here you can see the Titan which is their full-size pickup truck. Let's get into a full review on this truck video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy videos like this because i do post contests like this on a weekly basis without further ado let's get into the review so starting off this review let's start underneath the hood of the 2023 frontier this is the 3.8 liter v6 has 310 horsepower with 281 pound feet of torque and it is made to a nine speed automatic so it's pretty nice to see at least that Nissan is keeping with the V6. I know a lot of the other brands have gone to four cylinders and that's all that they have and that's all that they're offering. So without further ado, let's start moving around the truck. And one thing I want to note about underneath the hood of here with that 3.8 liter V6 is the gas mileage. This one has a gas mileage of 18 miles per gallon around the city and 22 on the highway. So pretty decent for a midsize pickup truck. That's a big plus in my book. So good job Nissan for that one. So starting off on the Frontier, let's start off with the price of this truck. This price right here in front of me is listed at $44,295. Base MSRP is going to be $38,900. So it does have a good amount of options added into it. Remember, this is the Pro 4x4. So this is their uh, premium edition or model. This has all the upgraded off-road pieces and technology that you may need or want. And a few extra little goodies in here, which we'll get into in just a little bit. Starting on the exterior of the truck, you can see we do have this white paint. Just below that, we do have the front grill with the Nissan with black and red bed. We have the front here embroidered up here and the plastic trim that's here. And we do have the LED lights right down here. And you can see those are going to be the running day lights, which I do like the look of, along with a fake vent design right in there that is not functional. Just below that is going to be your fog lights and then this larger front plastic trim piece in the center of the bumper down here. Moving a little bit lower there, you can see we do have a skid plate on the lower area and two recovery hooks in red right there. So pretty cool that they included that in there. And again, that is all part of this Pro 4x4 package. Let's go ahead though and let's move to the wheels of the truck. So moving on to the side of the truck, we have a relatively basic fender right here. We have a large fender flare right down here, which is finished in plastic. It's a black plastic trim and you have a little reflector right down there. We do have Bilstein shocks in there, which you can't really see. And now moving to the lower portion, we have this two-tone color wheel right here. The tire size on the fronts and the rears are going to be the exact same. They're gonna be 265 by 70s and these are 17 inch wheels. And you're gonna have the Hankook all-terrain tires. I do wanna note though that the design on the wheels, I do like it. I like the two-tone on here. I like the chrome and the piano black finish wheel on here too. And the little center cap with the Nissan badge is a nice little touch with that little red accent in the center. Now, speaking of that Bilstein suspension in there quickly, I do want to also talk about this is an off-road truck at the end of the day. So a couple of numbers for you to mull over are the angle of approach on this truck is going to be 32 degrees. And the angle of departure on that rear end is going to be 23 degrees. And the towing for this truck is going to be 6,270 pounds and a maximum towing capacity. So moving on to the now side of the truck, you can see we do have four doors. This is going to have the five foot three bed. It's a standard midsize pickup truck size. Just below that, you can see we do have some rails right here to help you step up into the Frontier. Although the overall height of this truck is not very tall. Someone like myself wouldn't have an issue getting into here without those, but it's nice to have the option that they are there and on them as you can see it does say frontier and on the back too it does say frontier with this little bit of a grip material on here so that you don't slide off when you're stepping into your nissan frontier and now moving our way to the rear of the truck you can see we have our gas cap right there the same style wheels there in this large pro 4 by decal on the side so that everyone knows what model trim you are driving for your nissan frontier Stepping to the rear of the truck now, you can see we have a very nice taillight design. I do like the way that it looks in here. I think it looks relatively modern, updated. Uh, and then in the center, we do have your Nissan badge again, finished in that black and red. We do have the Frontier embroidered into the metal on here as well. And then the Pro 4x decal right down there. The lower portion of here is going to be finished in a matte black plastic trim again. And then that's really it. You do have a rear backup camera, as you can see right here. And now let's go ahead and let's open up this bed one thing to know when opening up the bed is if you open it up it's a relatively soft open it's not 
as slow as like my Colorado is, but it's decent. It's not just going to fall down. So that's pretty nice. It does have a relatively soft open on here. We do not have the spray and bed liner in here as well. It is just the bare metal and that's really it. That's all that there is. You do have a few tie down ports. As you could see, we have one, two, three, and four right there. And that's really it. There's nothing else back here that's crazy or super different from any other pickup truck that's currently on the market. One thing I want to know before we jump into the frontier is that this one does come with the remote start option. So we're going to go ahead and give it a remote start and listen to the cold start. Alrighty guys, so now we're going to enter the truck right now. I just want to note that this one does not have a any kind of remote keyless entry on here. There's nothing that if you're holding the key that's gonna help it unlock, but you do have this button right here. So all you do is just give the button a press and it will unlock the door. And same thing goes for locking it. You get another click, it'll lock it up for you too. So hopping into the Nissan Frontier in the driver's seat, we're gonna first notice that on the door sill right here, we have an illuminated Pro 4X right here in the side side. I really like the look of that. That looks really nice. And we do have this orange accent running throughout the entire interior of the truck. So we'll kind of look a little bit more into that, but I'm not really too sure how I feel about that. I think it kind of cheapens the look of it, um, but you guys let me know in the comments below whether you like that look or not. Alrighty, so we are now behind the wheel of the Frontier and it feels pretty good in here. It smells very good. And uh, I have no general complaints I can say right off the bat from sitting in here. Everything seems pretty nice again, except for that questionable trim piece that kind of goes throughout the whole entire truck. So starting off on the driver's side, we do have a couple of buttons and controls here. We have all of your window switches, the driver's side window is the only one that is going to be automatic up and down. We do have your door lock and unlock right here, along with the window lock button right here and the controls for your side view mirrors right on top of that. All pretty standard stuff. Moving on to the steering wheel of the Frontier, it is all finished in leather. It feels pretty good. The center is also leather, and then you do have your Nissan badge right here. And then the accents on the side of the steering wheel are also finished in piano black or gloss black finish as well. And you're gonna have a few button controls in here just to help control the truck. So now going on to the cluster on here, the instrument cluster, it is a mixture of both digital and the analog gauges. So the gauges on here are all going to be analog, like I just said. You have the RPMs, your miles per hour, you have your coolant temperature and your gas. That is all going to be standard. Nothing really special about that. And then in the center, you're going to have a small screen, which when we give a little start to, you'll be able to see the little animation of a frontier right there where it tells you and then your general information is going to be all in there. Now obviously this is the Pro 4x4 so this is an off-road truck to start. So down here is going to be your four-wheel drive control right here. You have a little knob to turn around and I do want to note that in here it tells you the mode that you're in right down there in the bottom right. So you can kind of see by the rear wheels right now are illuminated whereas the front are not, indicating that the truck is in its two wheel drive mode. But if we change that up, you can now see if it shows a little bit on there, it is now all illuminated and it gives you a little beep. I do want to note that the gauge in here does include some pretty cool stuff that's somewhat useful, uh, especially if you're going to do off-roading. So you can see right here, it shows your general direction, everything like that. What's some pretty cool things you do have your driving aids right here. Your tire pressure is going to be shown on here. And you do have a full off-road mode on here as well. So right next to the general screen, which is going to show you your speeds, you can see we have off-road mode here. And on the left, also some more degrees and angles. But on the right, you can see again, the rear two wheels are illuminated and it shows you where the power is being output to the wheels and through everything. So again, if we change that, you could see it goes to four by four high and we now have that lock in the center and all wheels are moving obviously in four wheel high. And again, everything is now illuminated showing that there's power going to all four wheels. And again, when we go back down to two wheel drive mode, brings it right back down. So pretty cool feature that they did include in here. So moving right over to the center, now we have a seven inch digital display screen. It's touch screen and fairly responsive. I like the way that it looks too. It's covered, it's surrounded in gloss black finish on here. And then just below that is a couple of different general buttons to kind of control everything. Below that now is your air conditioning or air control. This is dual zone two. So pretty cool that they included that. You have different buttons on here. And I do like, again, that 
everything is a button. Nothing is behind the screen to get to or access everything. The main things that you want to access are easily accessible via buttons and dials and controls. I know some people don't like that, but I don't want to have to dig through this screen to access something like my air conditioning. I like how everything is always out and easily and ready to use whenever you want. Just below that, you can see we have a parking sensor button right down here and then two charging ports right here. One thing to note now behind that is we do have these bolsters right in here, which are currently wrapped for the protection and shipping, but they're actually finished in leather. And again, you have more of that orange look in there and you can see that stitching running through here with the gear selector too right here, which has and shares that same stitching too. Gear selector is pretty standard and normal. It has this little wrapped leather piece on the top and this little aluminum trim piece right up here. And then that's really it. You do have park, reverse, neutral, and then your different drive modes below that one. And this is also finished in gloss black. You have two center cup holders right here, a storage area right down here, and one right here, perfect for cell phones. And on here, which they don't have on right now, is the wheel locks that the truck does come with. The center armrest is finished in leather with more of that orange stitching. And right in here is a pretty big and spacious area. Plenty of room, I think, to store items. But one thing to note is that there's no upper storage area or compartment, so it's all the way down there. But I'm sure that you can buy an aftermarket one online. But this one does not come with anything included in that. Talking about these seats now, these seats are pretty comfortable. They are again cloth seats though, no heated or cooling in any of these seats. You have the Pro 4x4, which is embroidered right in here in orange, and then you have orange stitching running throughout all of this as well. And you have the pretty typical Nissan design seat right here, trying to make it look a little bit better or a little tougher than what it normally you know, would be or the standard trim would be. Now, going into the rear of the Frontier, you can see we have the same stitching and style seating going all throughout here. We have two chargers right here in the center, and then these goodies right here, which we'll get into in just a minute. As you can see right here, these seats do fold up. So what you're gonna do is there's a little latch right here. And as you can see that when that is unlocked, you can lift the seat up like this, and it stays upright, and you have some storage down here. The same thing is gonna be for over on that side as well, allowing you to lift up both of those together and have some underneath storage right there. If you wanna lower this down, there's a little strap right here. It allows you to lower this down, and again, kinda gives you some access to back here, but nothing to really store back there. The rear window on here is fully manual. There's no button to control that, so if you do wanna open that up, you have the little latch right there, which you can use to slide it open and close it whenever you want. So I wanna talk about quickly what these two are. You can see these are, a, this is a backpack finished in a digital kind of camo design, and then right here is that same thing, but this one has Adventure Medic Kit. So this is actually a part of a option that the truck includes, the off-road protection package. So you get both of these, which is an Adventure Medic Kit and an off-road adventure kit which is gonna be this guy, and then that guy's the medic kit. And included in that also is going to be door scuff protectors, which go around the outside of here. And you're also going to have all season floor mats, which you can see are right down there. And then there's nothing up in that one right now. So pretty cool little thing. All right, guys, and that's going to wrap up my video on the review on the 2023 Nissan Frontier Pro 4x4. You guys let me know in the comments below if you think this is worthy to be a competitor against Toyota Tacoma or a few other mid-sized pickup trucks out there. I think it's a great truck, and I think it has a pretty good value in today's market, especially for what a lot of other mid-sized pickup trucks at their top-tier model are going for. So you guys let me know in the comments below if you think that this is really worth it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys all in the next one. Take care.